Hey folks, this is Darren with MyRB Works. Today I'm working on my service trailer. I had a strange anomaly with this thing. Now this service trailer gets a lot of abuse, a lot of miles. It's got close to 40,000 miles on it. Uh, we're doing about that per mm, maybe 20,000 miles a year on this thing. It gets a lot of abuse. It's a traveling toolbox. But recently, you see that 11 volts flashing there? I plug this thing in every night to charge my batteries and that's a feed from my inverter telling me that I've only got 11 volts. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my meter, where's my finger here, I'm going to take my meter, I'm going to connect it to this converter here, and you're going to see that the converter is working. It's buzzing right now, it's going to put out about 13 volts. So why is my converter putting out 13 volts, but over here it only says that the, the trailer has 11 volts. And so I've spent about 10 minutes trying to figure this puzzle out, and when I found the solution, I decide, well, hey, I'm going to make a video and share it with you guys. So let me show you, let me take you on this journey. So we're going to follow the trail of 12 volts, and when we find the problem, guess what? You're going to be like, oh, and I decided to make a video because I want you to go look for those things as well on yours. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I'm reading 11 volts, feeding everything. Now here's my converter, plus and minus, and look, it's telling me that I'm putting out 13.6. So one of these things is not like the other. So I've got a fuse on board. So let me show you the fuse. We're gonna check it through the fuse. Okay, down in there is my 150 amp fuse that I've put in line. So I'm going to put my leads all referencing the frame, which, okay, any port in a storm, right? So I'm going to reference the black lead to my frame and my red lead down to that fuse down there. And let's see what my meter is telling me there. Okay, so now I got my arms are all, all articulated and everything. And look, I've only got 11 volts. And so that's kind of strange. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my red lead on the fuse. And if I can look in here without... Okay, there's my 13.6 again. Now, 13.7. The reason I've got 13.7 is because I'm referencing the negative on my converter. Negative on the converter, referencing my... So my, I know my fuse is good. But when I reference the frame, I get that 11. So what's up with that? Okay, so let's go out and look at some batteries. Okay, here's my beautiful batteries. Um, we're going to reference plus and minus. Ah, I've got the 11 volts again. So it is true that my batteries are only 11 volts. But when I take my negative and I reference it to the converter, then I have 13. So... Where is the voltage going? It's almost as if I've lost my ground. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Aha, uh -huh, look at what we found underneath. So that part right there, I put a screw in and it rusted off. So these are my two leads. See how the bolt head is still on this one, but not on that one? So um, we need to put these back to frame and then everything will work again. So we're gonna do, oh, I hear arcing, I hear sparky. Yeah, man. Ooh, fun, you hear that little, there. So there's our problem. So go check yours, make sure that your ground is bonded well to your frame. So we're gonna fix this real quick and we'll wrap up the video with a correct voltage reading. Okay, so we scraped off the paint, put some star washers behind our bolts, um, put everything back together and let's go back inside and see what the results are. Now that we have connected our ground, look, it's saying 12.8. And let's finalize with our meter down inside. Let me hand the camera to my esteemed colleague, Dakota. Hand by, or hand by, hand by, ha, stand by. Okay, now we're gonna reach way down inside of here and we're going to touch our plus and we're going to touch our frame and look, 12.7, 12.8. Alrighty, yay. So we fixed it, it was a failed ground. So if this was helpful, give us a thumb up. Your homework assignment, should you choose to accept it, is to go check your ground lug on your RV. And if you found value in this, subscribe to our channel and you get more videos like this. I'm always troubleshooting and fixing things on RVs all over the Northern Olympic Peninsula and the Kitsap Peninsula. So this is Darren from My RV Works signing off. And happy camper, say My RV Works. There you go. Thumb it up. Thanks for watching. Bye now.